Hi, it's Stacy here. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to use the post carousel block of GetWit. This block allows you to create a responsive carousel with dynamically sourced posts, pages, or custom post types of your website. Moreover, you can build a custom layout for each carousel slide. We already have tutorials on how to create post sliders, grids, and lists with the help of other GetWit blocks. So check out those in our playlist if you are interested. To be able to use the post carousel block, make sure that the latest version of GetWit is installed and activated in the Plugins tab. Then open a page where you want to add the post carousel and click on the plus icon. There you will find the tab GetWit block Click on Post Carousel and it will appear on your page. If wide and full width layouts are available within your theme, you can immediately switch between them for this block in the top bar. First of all, we choose what content we want to be displayed in the carousel. In the first drop down on the right, you will see all the post types that are available on your website. These are usually two standard post types posts and pages and any number of custom post types. I have two of them, accommodation types and services, both added by the Motopress Hotel Booking plugin. If you have WooCommerce installed, then you can even create product carousels. Below, you can choose how many items should be dynamically pulled to the carousel. Use the second slider if you want to hide the first few items in the feed. In the sub-tab, you can choose from a wide range of sorting and filtering options to tailor which items exactly you want to display. For example, you may want to show only posts with a specific tag, starting with the oldest. By default, items are displayed from the last to the first, but you can reverse it in the order dropdown. The items can be ordered alphabetically by title, date, randomly, by author, last modification date and menu order. You can usually change the menu order in the list of your posts. Hover over a post and click Quick Edit, then set its order number. If there are any posts that you always display at the top of your blog, you can skip them in the carousel by toggling the Next button. You can also display only posts with specific IDs. Each post has a unique ID which you can find by hovering over a post. For example, mine has ID 15. Specify their comma-separated IDs in the next field and only these posts will show up in the carousel. In the same way, you can also exclude specific posts from the carousel. If you are adding the carousel block to the content of a post, then you may want to skip this post in the carousel. This can be done by clicking Exclude Current Post. As I've mentioned, you may want to display only items with a specific tag or a category. To do so, select the taxonomies that you want to filter by in the next field. GetWit will automatically pick up all the terms available in each taxonomy. Hold down Ctrl or Command to select multiple taxonomies and terms. If you have selected more than one term, you can choose to display only posts that have all the selected terms or at least one of them. In the design settings, we can adjust how each slide will look through templates. Click New to create a custom one. We have separate video on how to do it in our playlist. The default template is an image at the top followed by title and excerpt. I will use a pre-made custom template. Below. We select how many slides we want to show at a time on different device sizes. Slides to scroll is how many slides are scrolled at a time when users navigate through the carousel. Enabling slideshow will make the slides change automatically. If enabled, we can choose how often the carousel will scroll. This number is in milliseconds. The infinite option puts all slides in the loop so users never reach the end of it. Animation speed is how fast the slides change. The center mode displays a preview of the previous and the next slides in the carousel. 
Spacing is the distance between each slide. We can set it to none, small, medium, large, or huge. Users can navigate through the carousel manually with the help of arrows and dots. These can be displayed outside or inside the carousel. Or be hidden at all. If you want to add more custom styles to this vlog, add your custom CSS class in the advanced tab. That was it. Like the video if you liked it and let us know in the comments what you think about the blog. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with our WordPress tutorials. Thanks for watching and have a great one!